What makes the world go round? What determines the rules of the universe? What defines the study of matter and its motion through space and time? Physics. As physics intersects all science, from chemistry to biology to mathematics, Professor Richard Morris, Doc Morris to his students, has provided the foundation for physics education at San Diego State for the past 55 years. If you listen to some people who are prejudiced in favor of physics, they'll tell you that it's the basis for all the other sciences. I came to San Diego State in 1957. At that time, I had the largest physics department on the West Coast. Morris's reputation for challenging students is legendary, as is the rigor of his advanced physical measurement class, a lab that underscores critical thinking and applied research. The passion he's had seems to have existed throughout the full 55 years, and how many professors would stay at one place that long and do the same thing for that period of time? Unless really underlying it all was a real passion for what they were doing and a desire to convey that to the students. Doc Morris is very rigorous in what he'd expect from your, your lab reports or from your lab and what you think, you know, your own personal opinions on the lab. Um, so anytime you had a question or, what, or you were unsure of uh, you know, what to do in the lab, you'd go ask him, he wouldn't give you the answer. He'd lead you to find the answer yourself. Doc Morris has had a profound influence on the students who've come through the college. Most of the students who've taken his course, so most physics majors, say it was one of the hardest courses they took in their career and also one of the most influential courses that they had in their entire time at the university. I'm convinced now after 50 years that the best thing you can do for a student is to give them a really hard course. I like the students and I like to see their, their devotion and their um, uh, refusal to give up even if things don't work. It was the most challenging class that I took at the school. I would spend hours working on this lab. It helped us to think about not just what we were doing but how to apply it to the physics and how to interpret what our data meant. In Doc's lab where we really learned about experiment and learned the physical and practical side to physics and very many of us I'm sure have taken uh, experimental technique that we learned from Doc into our lives. I know it's allowed me to um, reinvent myself a half a dozen times into different areas of technology as industry and as the world has changed. That's what 357 really gave to me uh, and gives to so many students that go through it is that hands-on ability to Things that don't work, you fix them, you get them up and running, you talk to your partner, you talk to your colleagues across the bench, and that experience of teamwork and hardware and hands-on is, is just incredibly valuable as you go out into high-tech world and build products and, and manufacture things. To build quality high-tech uh, laboratory physics and experiments to support research and development or teaching and training is expensive. But it pays dividends tremendously in the training that the students get. Doc Morris and others at SDSU have successfully made that case to alumni, including Simer President Ed Brown. As a second generation alum of SDSU, I'm proud to represent Simer in our dedication of the new Simer Advanced Physics Lab, celebrating over 55 years of Doc Morris' contribution to SDSU and the city of San Diego. SDSU seeks additional support to expand and update the lab in honor of Doc Morris, who helped launch the careers of thousands of Aztec scientists. And after 55 years, Morris still has high expectations for his students. I will probably have harder classes than Doc Morris' class. Being a grad student in computational science, I mean, I'm about to take a dynamical systems and chaos class, which scares me at the moment. But taking this class with Doc Morris would probably really help me prepare for that because of how many hours we spent putting into the lab and how tough the lab was, that we're pretty much ready for anything. <laughs> Doc is an amazing individual. Um, he's, he's an icon amongst those of us that have had him as students. 
Every one of us took part of Doc with us. If I have a legacy, I'd like it to be that he did his best to teach us to think. And I think that's probably the most important thing any instructor can give to a student. If he can walk out or she can walk out with some ability to think critically, they might just save the world.